Hey, Fry Guy here, and today we got another call. And today's call is on an Imperial oven. Um, it's like a SG something rather, whatever. I'll put the thing here somewhere. And uh, the issue is the one oven is just too hot. It just doesn't stop heating. It stays hot all the time. Now, I've already been out and I diagnosed it in the thermal couple or the, excuse me, sorry, the uh, temperature probe that goes into the oven had broke. So they need a new therm uh, like you know thermostat. The issue is with these things here. Their uh, thermostats is also the gas of it's a safety valve thing, whatever. So it's got the pilot uh, light comes off of it. Their gas main gas goes through there. It's also like part of their high limit system, and it's on it. It's weird. So that whole thing has to get replaced. So with that, let's get in there and get this thing done. All right. So I already took the front panel off. I was just held in by four screws. Um, this is the thermostat we're replacing. As you can see, the it broke off. So we can replace this. And there's your thermostat hanging down. Last time I was here, I diagnosed this. So I'm just going to take it and pull the rest of the way out. So I'm going to disconnect this. We've got to undo this line here, which is a 7 16 back here. It's like a 9 16 um, And then there's a 3 8 in the very back. And then we got to do these two eight millimeter um, bolts so this thing will slide up and out. In case you're wondering, if you guys ever in this situation, you see this little set screw. That set screw there is what adjusts the pilot light. So, a little tech tip there. Let's go ahead and replace this now. Make sure you turn off the gas. Off. All right, so it's actually bigger than a 9 16 but that's off. Line back there, so I'm gonna undo these screws here first. See if I can move it out then get to that line but just so you know you don't have to take these uh, bolts all the way out just high enough so that way these screws down here oh where's that here it is focus so that these screws right here can clear the lip here and then we can lift it out so that's all I'm trying to do so I gotta do this side real quick and then uh, we'll get that line out all right so a little bit of a squeeze but you lift it up and you pull it out. Now I have access to the uh, line back here. Just be careful you don't damage this gas line here. So um, you can see it's got a little fire damage on it already, so it's going to be pretty brittle or whatever. That's a, not a gas line, but a uh, thermal couple there. So, all right. All right, next, get the new thermostat, run the line behind this pipe in this little crevice here. It runs underneath this lip here, and then we gotta feed this thermostat coupling uh, through this hole and down into this hole here. So I'm gonna need both hands to do that, so I'm gonna do that real fast. Okay, on these thermostats, this little end piece here, they have it bent at like this. For it to fit through these holes here, you may have to straighten them out a little bit. Just be extra careful so you don't break them. Um, Imperial has top notch equipment, so. It's just one more adjustment I'm making. It's gonna have the same issue going down to this hole here. So just be very careful. Just a little heads up. This whole panel here, this whole thing here, it slides out. That includes this front part here, it slides out, and it slides back down in place. It's a little bit of a fight, but that's just how that goes on and off. Alright. So here's your thermostat. We gotta hook it up. There's little clips that go right here, if I can find them. These are the clips. So in order to go into these holes here and take them out, you just squeeze it. And uh, these will actually sit in place. There's a little um, thing inside here. You see the little uh, bumps that will hold that in place. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. Unfortunately, I need both hands again, so uh, I'm going to turn this camera off. <laughs> All right, so it's in place. Um, now it's time to put the fittings on the thermostat and get the thermostat all hooked back up. Slash 
safety gas valve or whatever you want to call it. Okay, just so you know, I had to take that little adjustment screw out for the pilot assembly. This is a um, half inch and this is a 7 16 Remember that this piece here, this elbow, is at a slight angle. All right, um, unfortunately, because I use it like a hardening pipe dope, I'm having to use a um, half inch uh, breaker or, you know, socket with the breaker bar. Putting a pair of channel locks here and I can break this free and then I'll have to use another pair of channel locks to break this free because I'm just rounding out the edges here with the wrench. So I'm going to take care of that real quick and then I'll put those pieces on the other thermostat. Okay, I got the fittings on. I had to replace this when the one broke and they didn't have an elbow, so straight fitting. Luckily, it's a flex pipe, so it should be okay. So time to put this on, or put this on, and then mount it onto there. All right, and it's lit. Your pilot's right over there. It's lit. Okay, so we got the new part in. I showed you how to, you know, run the new probe through and everything like that. A little bit of a hiccup here. The original fitting that went in there, little elbow, um, that was supposed to be removed off the old valve. I couldn't use on this valve because it was has a hardening pipe dope on there, which I never, ever use hardening pipe dope on anything. And it actually broke with me trying to remove it. So I had to run to the hardware store to try to get this little elbow there. Uh, nobody sold it. Every hardware store I went to didn't sell it. So I, you saw what I had there, that little type of compression fitting. That worked fine because luckily for me, that particular oven had flex tubing. The other side does not. So I got, you know, I'm lucky. Um, so I was able to make that work. Put it in there. As you saw, it lit up. I, I checked the temperature. Everything is great. So that, guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you've got any comments or suggestions, leave them down below. And hit that subscribe, uh, that subscribe button and hit that bell for more notifications. With that, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.